If you don't have a million dollars of value out of day one, you can leave on that point. You can even take your notebook with you. Nobody leaves. I've been doing this. I help people grow their business 30 to 130% like clockwork. And I'm talking about businesses like a company called HomeX, the largest home builder in Mexico. They directly relate to us three quarters of a billion dollars of increase in the last 24 months. Or a chiropractor who's got two members of his staff, an army of two, and he's doubled his business in the last nine months, right? That's what I do. My greatest skill, and how do I do that? It's like I've built all these businesses, but it started with one understanding that I want you to have, and it's why I focus today on achievement and fulfillment. Because your, if you look at any business and you want to know what the chokehold is on the business's growth, it's always the owner, it's always the leader. Because the chokehold is in the form of your psychology and your skills. And I would say to you, jot it down, 80% of success in business is psychology and 20% is mechanics. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a big believer in strategies because I know one strategy can save you a decade of pain. One strategy can make you a million dollars. But if you have the strategy, how many have had lots of strategies in the past and then not followed through? Who's done this before? Say I. That's why your psychology is the most important part. So I'll give you the details at the end, but I want to plant the seed with you. If you want to grow your business, you've got to grow. There is no business that's going to grow dynamically and consistently and give you huge levels of financial and emotional and spiritual rewards without you growing. But you have to have a way to do it that's disciplined that gives you both the psychological change, but also the skill change. Some people do have a great psychology, but they know how to make a great product or service, but they're terrible at marketing. And today, by the way, does the best product win in the world we live in today? Yes or no? No. Which product wins? The best marketed product wins. Now, long term, the best product and the best marketing wins. That would be in the past Apple. I say the past because they're slipping a bit because they've stopped innovating at the same level they used to. But the bottom line is if you have incredible product or service and you have incredible marketing, you're going to win. But we live in a world with shitty products. Who's ever seen someone who's a, a product far inferior to your own product or service and they're making more business than you are? Let me see your show of hands here. Say I. Today, is it easier to market or harder? Which one? Which one? It's easier and it's cheaper, but it's less effective. The reason is 15 years ago, I don't know what the numbers are in Australia, but I know what they are in the UK. I know what they are in Germany, France, and the US, and it's identical numbers. About 15 years ago, it would be 16 years ago now, they did the study, and they found that it took on average four exposures to a product on average before someone then took action on average. Does anybody know what it is today, meaning as of last year? 16. 16 exposures on average before someone responds. So today, it's really hard to succeed if you're in a situation where you're trying to market and what are you going to compare to? Today, people have gigantic budgets. That's why you've seen all these small businesses disappear and more big businesses show up. And how are you supposed to compete with that? The answer is you can, but you have to use a totally different tack. You can't do traditional advertising you're going to have to learn to master what I teach, which is how do you become the expert in the field so that people come to you because they want to understand what you know about it, where people seek you out, you don't advertise for them. Because whatever advertising you have, if you're a small business, it's going to be very hard for you to compete with that. And that is for every kind of product you can imagine today. Isn't it true? So a lot of people get down and out. It's just because they don't understand. It is so easy in the world we live in today to develop a level of expertise where your marketing is not marketing, it's adding value. If there's one way to become wealthy in business, there's only one way to stay wealthy. Find a way to do more for others than who? Than who? Than anyone else. If you find a way to add more value than anyone else in your category, you will completely dominate that marketplace. And if you keep doing it and you keep innovating, and you keep growing, you can go from a tiny little business where everyone else dominated you to where you're the dominant force. And I'm only one example of that. And I can show anyone how to do that process, but you're going to have to commit yourself to the study of